Hey guys, Colin McAtuna here, and I'm back again with another tour review. As you can see, on front of me is the Marvel Infinite Series Deadpool figure. And the reason why- I'm pretty sure you all know Deadpool, the reason why um, he's not wearing uh, red and black, it's because this is what, when Deadpool joined the X-Men. I just got this figure today, and I'm really excited to- well- to review it, well, the reason why I took it out of the package already because, well, this is the package it came in. Um, I gotta warn you guys, everything is so hard to take out in this uh, package. And uh, there's uh, quite a few problems with the fi f this figure and I'd like to share with you. So let's look at the figure itself. As you can see... Of course, instead of red and black, he's wearing yellow, uh, uh, blue and yellow. And I gotta tell you guys that this is actually the repaint of the uh, San Diego Comic Con 2013 exclusive um, De Deadpool Corpse Taco Truck uh, box set, a Deadpool figure. But um, it's this is just a new design. So yeah, this is basically in his um, teleporting costume. And yep, that's all the design for the figure. Now, for the articulation, he has a ball joint at the head. Mine is kind of loose on this. Um, he, uh, as for uh, arm articulation, his arms can go in and out. He bends at the elbow and also rotates at the elbow. And he has full wrist articulation. He has an upper ab crunch diaphragm, but they are hindered by the teleporting thing. So, do be careful of that. And, what I don't like when I get figures is that they, sometimes when they get loose parts, like for example, just like the ball jointed head, my legs are kind of loose on here too, so... Anyway, it can kick forward and back. They, it can go in and out, he can do the splits. Almost. Oh yeah, he can do this with, yeah. And he rotates this, the upper part of the leg. And he bends at two points at the knee. And he just has a single uh, foot articulation. So yeah, that's all his articulation. Now Deadpool here comes with some really awesome accessories. First off, as you can tell, he comes with these two katana blades. He, he can take it off. And put it on his hand. Let me just. <laughs> um, there we go. There, now you have Deadpool using his katanas. And if you don't want him to hold them, put them back in this holster and there we go and of course he comes with three weapons here he comes with this little knife and he uh, it's really small and um, yeah it's really small I can kind of put it in his hand a little bit see there we go now he's using his knife I tried putting it in this holster right here but it doesn't work and he comes with this awesome gun it looks really cool and he of course he can hold it and he comes with this bad boy I'm guessing this is like a giant bazooka or something. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a bazooka. And lastly, we get an alternate head. Now this head is just basically the same thing, but his face is kind of showing. He's grinning, he's smiling at you. Now I gotta... Um, once I took the figure out, and it's really hard to put the other head on. Because <clears throat> when I tried to put it in, the ball jointed it started breaking a little bit. So, let's just see if I can 
put it in here right now. Just take off his head. There we go. You can see the light blue thing. That's when it's starting to break a little bit. So let's see if I can put on this head. It's almost breaking a little bit. There we go. Kind of works a little bit, but I gotta be careful when I turn the head because the ball joint turns a little bit too, and it's kind of starting to break a little bit. And I'm afraid it's gonna break, so this is how Deadpool looks like with the other head. So right now, let's just see if I can pull out this. Oh, there we go. So that head was really hard to put on, but this head, really easy. Yeah. All right, everybody, thanks for watching my review of the Marvel Infinite series, a mini action figure of Deadpool. I love the figure a lot, but I always have a minor issues of this. And yep, so I gotta stop here, and I'll see you guys next time.